Yeah. Hello. And welcome. Welcome to the wild and wacky world of Fallout 70. Oh, 06. Yes, I do. Published yesterday. Yes, I published a route yesterday. I published a a route, a little route yesterday. It looks a little bit like this. This doesn't have all the spots. It's missing like two or three of the spots because they weren't very lucrative. I left out the spot south of Sugar Sugar Hill, right? Oh, I left out the yes. spot right over here, all right, and I left out the spot. Way over here, uh, north of Gnarled Shadows. Here's eye tracking, so you can see what I'm looking at. And I left out, uh, boop, 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 boop. oh, this spot over here by this Bastion's Hill, Bastion's Park. I think I just left out those three areas. And the area over here, uh, south of Freak Show. Because after five rotations, those spots oh, showed yes. up nothing. I was keeping track of these things. I have a spreadsheet where I write down, you know, the end time and what was available, raiders or settlers per location, I add it up, and I say, you know what, that was a good session because I got a bunch of garbage, is what I say. For example, yeah, mm-hmm, okay. Let's copy this uh, equation here. There we go. Oh boy. Uh, oh gosh. I'll just slap this over here. You know I mean? And I'll be using this sheet. Right over there. I'll be using that sheet. And I'll be showing you the map from time to time. But this map's available on my Twitter at Gubaberty and on my page at Gubaberty on Facebook okay I chose these locations because they're really quick it's about one minute per spot about one minute down here it's about oh four minutes down there between 10 and 11 because sometimes there's there's a sheep squatch that spawns between and a mothman down there so yeah So, right before we begin, I need to just make sure we're good to go, okay? I'll move my camp right below Pleasant Valley. I like that spot. Pretty centralized. Uh, people stop by often. There's a couple hot spots. That's why it's nice to have a large mobile camp. That still looks like a house and not just some platform hovering in the sky. Because you could say, well, I can't have my spot here because someone took it, but what are the other hot spots around the map? And make sure I'm prepped up. Make sure I have like a million arrows. You know, I made a bit of a very mint hat yesterday. So I'll move my camp right here. my base here so this is gonna be my billboard or this is my uh little sign boom there's power in there okay this is my main uh house and store you i'll line it right up right about Oh. oh gosh <sighs> I could go this way no 
Back out again. Hey there, Karen. How's it going? What I really do. All right. Boom, boom. Set up shop. I'll put my, uh... <clears throat> my collectron over here. There's a flag on it. Aha. Uh -huh. Here we go. Slim flam. Setting up, I'll put a little light pole right here. It's going to take a second to move in. Just one moment. leave these open for the people they could sell it too you could sell purified water for about five caps each and the cool thing about purified water is it heals you I typically heal through through drinking water Back to work now. Sort of a, a health over time thing Last one. Boom. Almost. That guy's kind of hidden back there, isn't it? I don't know. I could push him further back. Even further back. Whoa. Even further. Even though I'll be moving my camp in three seconds, you know? I just need room. There we go. There we go. And I'll put you right in the middle. There we go. Let's cinch it all up. Hey there, Lucas. I just got here. Uh, what's the name of this game? This is uh, Fallout 76. The blockbuster title from Bethesda Softworks. Mm. Boop, boop, boop. Cause you came and you did. I hid something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Loading in space forever. In space forever. I mean, why? <laughs> why? Why? Alright, 
That's my whole base. Sort of. But it's mobile. That's all that matters. All right, now I have to get prepped up. I move my camp, check my arrows out. Boom, boom, 1,000. Gabba, gabba, hee hi. I removed all my... Gosh darn. Doors open. I removed all of my melee flim flams that took off twisted muscles and talons yesterday. Okay. Make sure my potato stew is ready. Okay. Thank you. I have my arrows. Everything's fine. Let's make sure that the store is kind of stocked up for a second. Mm-hmm. Two items left over. I'll sell those helmets in just a second. There we go. I'll sell those two armor items. Or default pricing. That's right, default. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh-oh. There we go. I'll have to repair my armor. Just a moment. Okay. Let's do that real quick. My weapons are fine. I'm only be uh, I'm only gonna be using my bow. To repair I'll put on white knight. Just can't shake these nightmares. Well, uh Lucas, forever. I just started. Just why? So there you go. It missed nothing. This armor is filled with the bill of the uh, bourgeois. It must be cleansed. All I really care about is weapon weight reduction right now. That right leg can be totally re replaced. I want to change out the mod on that armor there. This this one's... Much of these ar armor items are kind of garbage, but I only really care about the weapon weight. Remember, if you could survive without an upgrade, do so as long as possible. You know what I mean? Because then every upgrade will seem like it's magic and and OP. You know, if you can survive without foods, play without foods. But then look forward to eating foods one day. Yeah, let's go over here and let's sell. Means. The day has reset. I have slept. Let's uh, put hard bargain on. You know. Bunch of humans hanging out. Great Mintat. Okay. Need some ammo, gems, or spiky bits. I need to uh, go back in my box and pull out. Find some here. Pull out all of that. Uh, all these grenades I stored in there. First, I get rid of these helmets. Almost done. Can't prep. Reminder: any attempted five finger discounts will be reclaimed and paid for with six there you go. fingers. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. I'm putting some extra plans in this uh, blue suitcase if you want. Oh yeah, appreciate it. Thanks. You. And my camp is right outside. If you want to give it a look. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Thank you. Yeah, I'll put in some uh, special stuff in here for free, just to be nice. I'll put in some uh, mod adjustment drugs to help with the narrative selection. How about that one? I don't know. Garbage. <laughs> yeah, man, sounds good. Thank you. Yeah. And help yourself to my purified water. I'll be on here for hours. I have a million of the large pumps back there. You can sell them for five caps each or drink them for health. So. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Much flight, man. Thanks. Mm. Alright. Only because the person had a mic. You have a mic, I give you things. Okay. 
get rid of a couple things here. This is what I have to do when I first log on. I have to go through the script vendor, clear out the flim flam. You know, it, it clears out a lot of my weight. It's very important. I'm going to pull out some of these armor items. Everything that I'm selling for under 100 caps, how about that one? Hmm. Those are chump prices. All my prices are chump. Okay. All these grenades. I'll be selling. Note to the mm -hmm. gourmands. And flesh is not I'm going to make a few more helmets. So this here. is how I make money. I uh, craft this helmet here and I sell it for 31 caps each. Or 35 caps, depending. Around that range. I'm not too sure where I got this plan from. Some over there, uh, somewhere over there in the cranberry bog. Okay. Glass, plastic, and rubber. Okay, so one glass, one plastic, and three rubber. Ooh, boy. It's dangerous to go alone. You gotta be nice, it's and then you end up making money, people. To go in groups. It's just dangerous okay, out and then there. I will buy. So See, look, that's how I make that money. Me. I'll buy some garbage here. It doesn't really matter what I buy. As long as it's under 1,400 caps over there, I just want to keep giving. Look, bulk aluminum. I just want to keep giving the vendor money. You know? So that then I can sell more. It's a balancing act. Boom, boom, boom. Previously owned sell more helmets. For sale. See that? Mostly I asked me to a thousand caps. Free. Wanna buy some junk? Uh, 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 is that you, Cleminator? Is that you? I wish I knew. At a hard day of killing and looting, I don't think. want to haul it back yourself. It's not very clear. Sell it here. All right. Uh, okay. I'm gonna run inside really quick and go to the vendor right up, right up top. Oh, <laughs> that's somebody else. Who the heck was that? I added somebody else. DJ Dolphy. <laughs> I accepted somebody else's invite. No. There you go. There you go. Oh no. Okay. Come on. Oh my god. Uh, I wouldn't leave this stupid menu. Okay, I'm just gonna run up here really quick, even though I don't have Lone Wanderer on or any of that garbage. I just wanna go to the vendor and buy up all their junk and then sell more helmets. That's what I do, y'all. Remember, every vendor actually has a lot of garbage in the form of junk. It might be incredibly overpriced, but think of it as a horrible convenience fee. And if you keep doing it over time, you end up with a lot of garbage, especially if it's infinite. Just think about it. If you end up hitting the, the 20,000 cap range all the time, and you spend all that money until you're broke all the time on large quantities of bulk junk from the vendors, you're going to have a lot of junk if you don't have a limit for how much junk you could hold. It's almost like a game. My goal is to fill up those vendors as much as possible 
with the concept that what if I don't have Fallout First next month? If you don't have Fallout you First the next month, you can still pull stuff out of your infinite stash, but you can't put stuff back in. We're going to buy this guy's uh, concrete, lead, springs. Tim getting broke. Boom. All right. Maybe you'll kill someone with one of my weapons. Think of me cool. when you do. And ballistic fiber. I'll buy two. Sure. Ew. And I'll sell you a couple more helmets. And now I'm broke. And we'll get back to it in just a bit. Okay, I so like knowing uh, they've been doing portions complete. I'm pretty sure I got rid of the uh, grenades first. No, I didn't. What kind of fool doesn't do that? All right, well, uh, not much I can give you. I'll give you whatever I have. It's going to be bad. Okay, I'll just give you whatever I have. Doesn't matter, my friend. Overpriced garbage. All I want to do is give the vendor some money. Ooh -hoo. Look, I'm broke again. Isn't that cool? I love getting broke every three seconds. I want you to appreciate how fast I make money. Okay? It's not just that you have money. It's about what are you doing with that money? Huh? What are you doing with it? You're sitting on it. All right. Now I'll wander my way back. I'm over encumbered. Always together. How's it gonna be when you don't know me anymore? Whoa, whoa, how's it gonna be? All right. If I weren't over encumbered, I would run up. I will just run over there to my left. You know what? Here, let me fix that problem right now. Real quick, I'm just gonna collect the aluminum right behind me, and then I'll go back down to the vendor, and I'll get rid of a couple more items, and then I'll be good to go. Okay, now I'm good. I just made my. Uh, I made all the junk weigh nothing. Aluminum. I'll be dropping on down there. I'm about to do a hardcore reputation run. I'm going to do it so much. I'm going to do it on a private server as well. So there's no interruptions, you know? Uh, maybe. See, on a private server, I'm not making any money. I always need to be making that passive income in the background, but it doesn't really matter, you see, when I'm on a private server. Because there's no need to really have more money. You know? Maybe. Yeah, I don't need to be on a private server. It, it is nice to be in the same world as other people and hit up these spots and uh, not run into other people during the route. It's, it's very nice. Hey, little Ben. Hey, little Eric. And hail, Fabian. Floating space forever. I mean, pfft, why? Well, the water purifier, baby.
Bam, beam, bam, boom, boom, bam, beam, bam, boom, beam, bam, boom, boom, beam, bam. Okay, let me check one more thing. I think I'm good to go on uh, in that regard. Okay, yeah, I think uh, that's all good. It's all good. Boom, boom. Let me drop off a couple more items in uh, the suitcase. If you're listening, you could check this. There's some. Uh, well, I'll take that purified water back. I put some... Well, I'll take all these drugs back. The dude didn't take them. He didn't want my garbage. Okay, I put these grenade rounds in here. The missiles. Okay. These mods. It's pretty good, actually. That T60 Vats Matrix Overlay. That is actually, people, worth flux. Because you have to use flux to make that thing. It was actually pretty good. I don't want to get rid of those. My goodness. That's worth actual money. Both these things are very good. The targeting HUD and the, the major server lane? Come on, why do I even have that? Did I just pick that up in junk on the side of the road just now? Pretty good. Alright. Okay, I'll put away this armor. 695. I'll sell the stuff at my earliest convenience. Alright. all this garbage down. Okay. What up, what up? I'm about to uh, do this hardcore little runny poo. That's what I'm about to do. I just can't shake these nightmares. Space forever. Just why? Okay. Okay. The more ammo you sell, uh, the more people want to come and sniff and see what you actually are selling. That's too expensive for that fusion core. Okay. Boom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the flare gun is nice. I like the flares as well. Or the actual flares. The, uh... Boom, Okay, we have all that arm, uh, ammo in there. Uh, as for weapons, we're down to 25. Okay. Flim flam, flim flam, flim flam, flim flam. Yeah. Okay. You think I jump higher? Well, I do have the marsupial mutation. But if it seems like I jump higher than that, it's because the field of view is turned a bit higher. So, distances seem further. I'm selling all the stuff for default prices. Come on down and grab the default garbage from me. Alright. And then, over here, we have five slots open for the aid items. Just make sure we're good to go. Alright. Am I selling blood packs? Nope, but I am now. For how much? Thirty. Okay, canned dog food. Uh, twenty-five each. These nightmares, floating in space forever. Let's see here. Just Daddyo why? default day tripper default. Mm-hmm. 
Am I selling honey? I am selling honey. 15 each. That's a bit cheap. I do declare. In fact, I don't even want to sell any honey anymore. That honey's mine. It's on my list of things I want to keep on me. Like red roach meat. Alright. Unscoped weapon damage. That's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Anything that increases your damage is nice. Okay, all these nuka colas. Boom, boom. Uh, 55 for the well, 25 for the cherry. Cranberry will be... Fifty-five. Quantum is... Hundred and fifty. Yeah. And that's it. Okay, we are filled to the max. Filled to the brim. I have arrows. I'm gonna make a few flares. And then I'll be good to go. Make a few flares. Yeah. I'm not building anything right now, people. Alright. I'm not building anything right now. Because I have an, an explosive bow as an option, right? But I also, so I, I, I'm mainly using this, you know? Then I have this right here. Then I have this right here. Right? So those are options, but I'm not really using those options. Okay. It's time for a nap. As for my food, he's eating. Radiation got me. I was saying I'm just eating some garbage. But that garbage killed me. In space forever. Just why? Turn these lights off. All right. Oh yeah, baby. That is the it's a, it's a skin for my backpack, but I'm using the refrigerant backpack mod because I'm. Holding on to a couple things. I sort of wanted uh, to make some fever blossom tea. Takes honey, I believe. Perhaps soot flower. Oh, that's not our concern right now. That's our concern for later on. What we're doing right now is we are about to do this hardcore XP route, baby. Mm-hmm. You can get my map on my Twitter. Yeah, just follow me on Twitter. I get so political. 
I get so political, people. I get so, so political. You should totally follow me on Twitter. I retweet things. I hit like on stuff. Oh my gosh. And I share that map. Come on down. And get brainwashed. I mean, and, uh, uh, Bloop bloop. Okay, and now it's time shake these for the Musaco. This is my build. Just why? Everybody, so you can see what's going on. Blah blah blah. A bunch of garbage going on. You saw I have those other weapons, but I'm mainly I'm mainly using the cryo bow to like one shot everything. I'm using Grimmer for sprint to get the AP back. Every third oh, kill will refill yes. my AP bar. And I'm using Lone Wanderer and Nerd Rage for a bit more AP regen. 30% here, 15% there. I'm not eating anything, really. Or drinking anything. I'm just eating some raw meat. I'm not even a carnivore. I don't care. I just don't want to be starving. That's all. Uh, because these are bare minimums. I could always enhance it. I'm collecting some stuff passively. But in the future, I'll be making some foods. And then it'll enhance my flim flam. Just a bit. Do do flu and a shooby do. Camps. Dialectical materialism rating is. What you do to my camp, huh? What you do to my camp? Report. You must work Did they upgrade harder, it? Comrade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Matthew, the game has changed. I hope I did my well-tuned thing. I was trying to, yeah, there we go. All right, everybody, here we go. Now, don't mind me, I'm gonna be fast traveling quite often. I'll go over the map really quick before we dive on in. It's about to be a raucous romp. A raucous romp. You see, I'll be going all over the map to farm reputation. That's what Wastelanders is all about now. Beyond your dailies at the foundation and the crater for the settlers and raiders, respectively, you can earn reputation by going around the map to these random instance event locations and hope that there's a pack of settlers fighting a pack of something else. You go fight the pack of something else and go talk to the settler or the raider and they say, thank you, man. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll go put a good word in for you. And it goes boop, 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 boop. And the, your little reputation bar goes up. A little bit. They want so much. So much, this is like a long-term progression for these uh, reputation bars. So I'm going around the map doing that. I've checked these locations. They're pretty consistent. My par time is about one minute per location. I'll be writing down all the times as I go in this active spreadsheet. Oh, yes. Right here. Oh, boy. I'll be writing the times down and marking whether or not it's to watch if it was a raider, nothing, settler, 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 raider, boom, boom. If I started, you know, at uh, 9.45 and ended at 10.15, oh, this here says it took half an hour and that there are seven total things, so I know in the future, you know, yeah. Right. What it's all about. Here we go. Hey, 
Hey, Matthew, there's all kinds of dialogue selection. It's, just go play the game. It's, it's pretty incredible what they've done. So, to talk about it, there's this big old content chunk called Wastelanders. People have come back. You talk to them. And whenever you talk to these major storyline people, you have dialogue selection, a bunch of stuff to say, and then there's a bunch of uh, stat checks. Like it'll say, if your strength is above 10, or if your intelligence or charisma is above whatever, you could have this option. You know, you say the thing, and it's, oh, really now? You want to do that? Okay, well, step this way, you know? It's pretty cool. Or it's based upon what you've done. Based upon, like, your, the past of your character, all, your, all of your credentials and everything. You're, if you're a general in the Enclave, military, all that stuff, it comes up. It's awesome. It's awesome. Other NPCs you can't really talk to. Like, this is the NPC right here. Hi. Huh. Uh, new clothes. I'm getting real muddy. They just say some stuff. Other ones you can interact with. But right now, my job here is to save these guys from these ants. If the scorched or the ferals don't get you, the rats will. I saved your life. I saved your life. Those things are a real pain. We appreciate the help. Bye. Things were taking a turn for the worse till you showed up. That's right. Okay, down to Becker Farm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that was a settler. And uh, 945. Keeping track. Give it a try. This is and despair. why would you, you Matthew, why would the first yes, thing that you say, or that you ask about the game be, I take it they I made fighting a boss Robert harder? Baron, well, I don't know if this game's for you then. Did you just farm the queen all day? You complain about being too easy? Okay. This spot is done. Moving over here, real quick. Alright. 9.46. See, my part time is one minute. I'm checking 22 locations. I will be getting reputation. Oh, there's a bunch of people here. Oh, I have to pick sides. Goodbye, raiders. I love these. You have to put sides, baby. It. And it's good practice because you can't use bats. You know what I mean? Up this. I that. saved your life, you punk. Work, no. Hey, thanks for helping us take out those I raiders. I saved your life. They are relentless. I'm glad you're one of us. Well, Gibu Gabu, madame, I'll tell you what. See, look right here. Charisma plus eight, blah, blah, blah. I'm always willing to help. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not on your side. Just helping people in need. Huh. Charisma plus eight. Give me more money. But I like to do this. I'm always trying to help fellow settlers option, you know? But I could... Here, I'm going to punk her out for more money. Look, I saved your life. Don't you think I deserve more compensation? I killed those people for you. I picked your side. Where's my money? You're right. It's rough out here. Take this. Yeah. That's a frass. Moving on. See, I was talking there, so that was a little bit less of a speed run. Going down to Marigold Pavilion. Okay, that was Settlers. I chose them. 9.47. Boom. But still in one minute. Even with that talking. Yeah. There's people here. Yay! It's a good route. It's a good route. Yeah. Hello. Who's here? If those raiders come snooping around, they're gonna regret it. Who's here? Any second now. I'm all out of water. Bad guys will be coming any second. Hey, buddy. The blood eagles Maybe. are a dangerous offshoot of the raiders. Oh man, somebody else might have already. They don't get along with the crater group. Somebody else might have already Morning. cleared it. Oh, somebody already cleared it. Oh yeah. Well, this one's been cleared. We we'll keep on going. Down to it's the Vault Tech Ag Center. This one's already cleared, so there we go. Sadly, uh, I suspected that because someone's living in that town, Point Pleasant.
I said that use a flim. Automated warning to all responders. And Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Been running around with other men. Keep knocking, but you can't get in. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. You know what? Are you guys? Scanning. No, you're, you're friendly. Out of my way. You're not friendly. Person back here. This is just a random scavenger. Hey, buddy. Oh, nice to finally see a friendly face. Yeah, what you doing? Maybe I'm not as friendly as I look. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, as long as you don't hurt me. Listen How's here. How's it going today? Well, I'm doing okay, but I'll tell you, I'm hungry, injured, and everything wants to kill me. I'd say it's going okay, right? <laughs> well, you Chortle. just gotta keep your head up. I'm chortling. Well, I wish you yeah. luck on the rest of your day. Yep, yeah, you as well. Fairly well, friend. Fairly well, friend. Yep, yep, oh, yep. Nice. Fairly well. Uh, likewise, hope you're. Uh, it gets lonely uh, out here. Great to have someone to talk to. I know. How's it going today? Fantastic. You know, every every day I wake up, it's a good day. Because this is the wasteland, you know? Oh, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. You have to find the positive with the current state of things. Yeah, look for the, the bare necessities, well, right? I wish you luck on the rest of your day. Mother Nature's recipes. Forget about the world. That's not how you use a shovel. You're gonna you're gonna dent your stupid shovel. Get yourself a Maddox. Get yourself a pit. This guy ruining tools. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm sorry. The bloodlust is insatiable. Alright, that one was bust. Okay, and Ag Center, 952. That one took a couple more minutes. That that one took four minutes. Eating into my speed run. The game wanted me to kill him. Because isn't it great how the world's wonderful and everyone's nice to each other? Alright, bye. If it le if it ends at that, you're supposed to slaughter them. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. No one's here. All right, moving on down to the flim flam land right here. Okay, mark that one off. At least that one made up for the one before. Okay. Oh yes. Eyebrows raising with the GABA haying. Ghostbusters. I need some soap flour for that uh, fever blossom tea in the future. Let's go this way. There's people here. Yay! Sure who or what these robots are protecting, but it's not us. Yeah, now that people have come back to this area, they'll all want to be setting up places like I saved your horror life. So much for protecting. Yeah, nice. I'm a fast one. I'm one of them fast ones you heard about. You know what I mean? You heard about us on the on the television, going all fast, doing things. Hey, Melissa. And who? Perfect build for doing this garbage. 
You don't need some crazy flim flam. Only time you need the crazy flim flam is when a sheep squat shows up. Or a death claw or something. Side. Yeah, there was nobody. Uh, Nine fifty-five. Yeah. Yeah. Boeing. Boeing. All I care about right now is that rep. I don't care about the loot unless they're like a legendary or something. I care about the floaters. Yep. It's a good build for doing this garbage. D -d 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 Double legendary. Okay. Alright, moving on. The time. Nine set five six. Yeah. <laughs> All right, get here, Cthulhu. Going. What are you doing? Hey. Crap. What are you doing? Trash. What are you doing? Junk. Stop it. Stop it. Nah, that's worthless. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Hey. Hey. How many more fucking empty Nuka-Cola bottles am I gonna find? Family friendly! Watch your language. What is this? An M-rated game? Yeah. Leo, when you take this pass, are there always... Are they always there when you first start, or is it random? It's always random. It's always random. Because you're not the only person on the server. It's random, 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 random. But out of my 20s, look, there's more than 22 spots. There's about like 20, five, six. Those spots are too way the heck out there in gnarled shadows, too far away. Uh, yeah, but I find it's about a 50% spawn rate.
Yeah. Well, I'm sure it's still random. Whatever, whatever we have to say about anything right now, it's going to be random. Why would it always? No, it's random. The end. It's, it's the same between private and public, and it works on a private. It's just on a private, it's more likely to be more consistent because nobody else was there to clear it out. You know. See, right here is Mole Man versus the Sheep Squatch. I was writing it down before, and I, I was keeping track of how often it's about, you know, it's about half. Sometimes it's lower, sometimes it's higher. Yeah. We go right up here. There's there's some mothmen right up here. I come to find oh, my mothman. Shall I lead to the light? Greetings, new follower. Oh, Hail. 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 Eternity. Yeah. Gonna be landmines all around that. Watch. Let's keep on going. Keep on. Yeah, right there, there could be a sheep squatch, a crashed satellite, a bunch of stuff can be right there. That's why I cut through. It's pretty short. Next one's coming up, and there are people here. Let's let our AP build for a second. And go. Looks like it might rain later. Yeah. Looks like it might rain later. Yeah. Oh, are you guys? Have you seen my tools? Are you guys oh. okay? Never mind. Just fine. Okay, good. Mm. I'm trying to make sure it wasn't already cleared. Okay. Yeah. Hey there, Molly. Yeah. How's it going, Molly Grace? Hi, Min. Hi, Mitten. Welcome. Look, see? That, that spot's the done. Or the Settlers. Don't get as well. And I'm Settlers. I'm not sure what they're after, but they'll stop at nothing. That's right. We were outnumbered and about to be slaughtered. Basically. You. Oh, you came in and saved the day, didn't you? Boom, boom. Right here. Channel 2. We're doing it. We're doing it. Vicente Diaz. Hi, say my name. I hate I hate people like you, Vicente Diaz. How about you say something? Hi, say my name. If you ask a question, I'll answer it using your name. Think about that one. Hi there, say my name. Strange. Strange. Next, you're gonna be telling me to do stuff. Next, you'll be saying, "Hey, go over there. What's wrong with you? Hey, do this." <laughs> say my name. Say my name. You acting kind of shady. And calling me baby. Why the sudden change? Every other word. There's a huh, you okay? Please tell me the truth. Are you in the crib with another lady? Uh, how do you send that you? Uh, or something else that rhymes. Two seconds ago, you told me they just left the house. You know? All that garbage. If someone's there, just tell me who. Please. What? I saved your life, you scallywags. If someone gets a bigger cut than you, yeah. something's up. Watch your back. Yeah. 
Those feral bastards came out of nowhere. Uh, we were there. Uh, I appreciate that. It'll come in handy one day. Oh. All right. Up and over to and fro over. Okay, that was Raider. Yeah. Yes, Jake, I deeply, deeply despise. You're going to teach me Spanish? Listen, te. Are you here to teach me something? Or are you here to learn? See that? Prediction, huh? A person that says, hi, say my name, is all of a sudden trying to say other garbage three seconds later. Say, hi, can I teach you Spanish? Are you there to teach me Spanish? Are you there to watch a darn stream about the game, mortal? Hi, say my name. Can I go here? No, it was hi. Let me teach you Spanish. See that? That's why I don't like it, because it, it goes... It's, it's bad. It's just... I can smell it on the people, and I call it out. I smell it on them. Whoa. Whoa! Bleep. All right, this spot's done. This guy wants me to say, Soy el mejor en el Fallout 70 Bix. Uh, uh, uh. Hola, bienvenidos. Flim flam, por favor. Spanish 2 in high school, baby. I graduated that one. Oh my goodness gracious. I get this question every day. I like answering this question there, Molly. Other people will say, bloody build, because you're chumps. Other people will just give you a simple, stupid answer that is stupid. That doesn't help you in any way. That's the, that's the uh, Code 4112 build. You know the Code 4 Triangle 15 build? Yeah, look it up. Next question. I'll tell you in a second. Hey, uh, Mally, so you're asking why, why is my life so low, why am I red so high? It's because... Watch this. Right about now, you'll see this thing pop up. See that? That means that right... Oh, God, no. No! No! I was in a death box. I was with... oh! Yeah, so when I have a low 20% health, I do more damage. And I have more AP regen. Yeah. Okay, so, Mali. Let me show you a couple things, okay? First of all, I, I, I am purposely ingesting radiation, so watch, I'll, I'll clear my radiation. Now I'm using, oh boy, oh my gosh, I'm almost out. Good thing you brought that up. I'm ingesting toxic goo to give myself more radiation. Now as you see my, uh, as you saw my, my uh, life went up, okay? So, nerd rage, while below 20% health, you gain 40 damage resistance, 20% extra damage and 15% AP regen. You know what AP is, it's like mana, right? Radical, the greater my radiation, the greater my strength, more melee damage, more carry weight. Ghoulish, radiation now regenerates my lost health. Right? Uh, my other weapon that I'm not using right now because I'm not really going melee right now, I, I kind of took off a couple abilities, but uh, right over here, for example, oh boy. Damage increases as health decreases dramatically. 80% more. 
It's, 80, it's an 80% increase, I believe, with bloodied weapons. Boom. It's a big increase. And that stacks with the Nerd Rage. Okay? Alright. You have armor here. Such as Unyielding. It says you gain plus 3 to all stats except for Endurance when at low health. You have Bolstering Armor that does the same thing, but it gives you plus 35 to your defense. As you get lower, uh, lower health. And then you have the... Adrenal Reaction Mutation. Weapon damage at low health. And all that stuff stacks up. Yeah. Okay. So, the reason why it's almost OP... ...is because... ...you have to... There's many conditions. You have to make sure that you're... ...at low health and that you're not gonna die. I have to go here to West Tech just for a, a brief intermission because I ran out of toxic goo just now. So I have to go here just to lower my health. Otherwise, it's, I don't really have a a decent way of lowering my health beyond that. I can just eat a bunch of this glowing meat. But I want toxic goo. Okay, this place is already cleared. This is the spot across the map. It's normally full of mutants, but they're all killed right now. I'm going in here just for a bit to get some toxic goo. It'll, it'll take just one second. Okay, right over here. See all this goo? It's mine. You can get it from right here or from the back, and it helps you. I don't like that. I don't like it. There we go. This guy over here on YouTube, the guy that said, Hi, say my name. Then I said, a person like that then says, go here, do this, blah, blah, blah. And this person is not stopping. Hi, I teach you Spanish, okay? And they're saying all this garbage. Blah, blah, blah. It's all about me. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, yeah. Ha, ha, ha. I go to other people's <sighs> worlds and talk about myself. Ha, ha, ha. I teach you Spanish now, okay? Ha, ha. Yeah, she's on my YouTube stream. You use ionized sticks for, uh, oh, ionized meat for rads? Well, this is better. You get some, uh, if you farm the nuke zone all day, then you end up with a bunch of ionized meat. You know what I mean? And that gives you radiation. But I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't know how much how, how many rads ionized sticks gives you, but toxic goo is pretty good. It's pretty darn sustainable. It's supremely sustainable. It's extra supreme. Sustainability. Toxic goo, my, my friend. Let's go back out there now. Back on my rotation. There we go. Yeah. There we are. Done. Go up here to the car hand and do our thing. Hey there, Falk. How's it going? Yo. Yeah. There's all, all these synergistic things to help improve your character as you get lower life. 
For some reason, someone that was being very trollish, after someone asked me the same question about why is my life so low, that person that said that they're not being a troll said, the bloody build is the go-to build for... F it's, a go it's, it's, the, it's the go-to thing for food builds. Like, you're making fun of it? Like, you're saying that weak people need bloody builds, meanwhile you're sitting with a full health build like a chump? In my opinion, a full health build means that you're afraid. And you like standing around. You like to stand around. Understand that the lower your health, the more you have to pay attention to what's, what's happening. The higher your health, if you are like a juggernaut tank build, that means you are inherently less skillful. Yeah. Hey, oh my gosh. Thank right. you. So <laughs> or let's just say that you don't need to be as skillful. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Daniel. Thank you so much. For example, if you have a game like Battlefield and you're in a tank and you're bragging about that's the way, if you really want to get your KD ratio up there, dude, I have a, I have a 150 to one KD ratio because you're in the tank all day. Imagine people in tanks making fun of infantry for dying. Imagine people in tanks in Battlefield making fun of the guys out there in the front line. Because it's effective for you to be in the tank. But being in a tank, you don't have to do that much. You have to park, move every so often, shoot, boom, really far away. It's very much like being tanky in other games. You say you have to care about things. There's nothing wrong with it. Because... You, for example, whenever I'm in power armor and I... It, so, here's something. If I have... If I have, uh, if I have eight intelligence and I want to use explosive heavy weapons, I will need to be in power armor, perhaps. You don't need to be, but it's a good thing to do. We're stabilized. So if I'm using stabilized and I'm not using nerd rage anymore, and if I'm in power armor and my unyielding armor is no longer in effect, I might as well just go full health. So at full health, then I, I no longer use serendipity, so I could flir I, I could clear up serendipity for one gun army, and now I'm no longer bloodied in power armor. It, it's just what you need to do. Like, you know what I mean? Uh, if you have 11 intelligence, then you may want to go bloodied, explosive, heavy weapon, power armor. You know. But if you don't have that, then you, it's better to not go bloodied. And then you maybe use a junkied weapon, and you feel nice and comfortable with your full health, immortality, while you just stand there, with a machine gun while all the enemies are shooting you and your life isn't going down and you call yourself good. It's not about being good or best, but those people that would actively make fun of somebody else, then I have to go back and make fun of them. You see? You're making fun of somebody for having a bloody build or saying that a bloody build needs to be nerfed. Meanwhile, you're just standing there. You're just standing there in a firestorm and you're complaining about the bloody build. It's nonsense. Socialists don't believe in working hard for things. And they get angry at those that do. And they want to pull them down. I think it's a socialist thing. Socialists don't care about cheating as well. They don't have honor in the craft. They believe in utilizing systems to maximum benefit. So socialists will use things like Nutricrypt. Well, a capitalist might not. Maybe. I, just, I, don't, I don't want to equate it to the... Yeah, so we drinking black clad. You put your bike lock in a sock and hit somebody over the head and call them a Nazi for wearing an American flag shirt. Those sort of people. Miss me too much. They are like crazy people, you know, lump people together. Those guys are likely to be raiders. That's what I'm saying. The people that show up at those things, those are the raiders. Zero values. In fact, values are evil to those people. Values are evil to those people. Think about it. Think about it. The nature of values is inherently evil to a person that doesn't believe in values. 
or in the nature of of uh, that. Oh god, I'm dead. Okay, one sec. One sec. Oh no, my bow's broken. My bow's broken. Oh god. Okay, I almost died. I tell you what, I almost died because sometimes the bow uh, stays drawn, and when the bow stays drawn, I can't use my abilities. Here we go. Here we go. But it's not about being a bloody build, because there is no build. It's not one thing. It's more of a concept. It's the game gives you benefits for being at the brink of death. And the closer to the brink of death you are, sort of the better it is. And if you can manage living right here, then it's ideal. And it makes it more exciting. But if not, oh yeah, that's a bloodied build. That's way too simplistic. There's many things to enhance. You know, there's many, many well, that's, it's like me saying you, you have a full health build. What does that even mean? It's nonsense. Yeah. Uh... Uh, Jake. Jake, okay. So about launching the nuke, you got halfway through the decryption. You had the keyword and everything, but you couldn't figure out what to do with the whole alphabet. Hey, thank you for asking that question. Let's go over that right now. Thank you for asking that question. So let's say that you had the keyword neuropathic, okay? The first step is to take the keyword from the enclave. It's written on the wall, revealed letter by letter, okay? You isolate the letters, boom. You take all the letters that are not in the keyword and you put them in the end. So, you see? You take all the letters that are not in the keyword and you put them at the end of the keyword. So you've done that step. Now you have your keyword cipher. You line up your keyword cipher with the alphabet, okay? And you're decoding down, not up. See, A does not become N, B does not become E, A becomes G, B becomes L. You're decoding down. You have your eight code pieces. You then decode these letters in the code pieces to the new letters. So, seven Bravo becomes, you know, Bravo over here, B becomes L, okay? So then you... You translate each of these letters, boom, 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 boom. That forms an anagram. You then solve the anagram. Sometimes there's more than one solution. In this case, for that word, it's only one solution. An eight letter anagram. Boom, boom, word scramble. You then line this stuff back up. Seven B becomes L that re rearranges the code sequence. Okay, so here's another one. Hypodermic was the keyword. You find the, the letters that are not in the alphabet, you put them in the end, you get your keyword cipher, you line the keyword cipher up with the alphabet, you decode down, you have your key letters, your letters, oh boy, I didn't do that one. Whoa. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is a better one. Fluid rams, boom, 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 keyword, bam. This forms an anagram, you see? Forms an anagram, solve the anagram, rearrange the word, boom, boom. Did that help you? Yeah. Can't respawn here. Can't respawn here. Yeah. No, Vicente, I'm ignoring you. I'm ignoring you. Yo. Yeah. Alrighty, yeah. -hoo. So, uh, I did post this to the Gobabra Collective Facebook group. I gotta. Don't you hate when you overwrite templates? So, here's my template, you see? You could print this out or something, or whatever. But you see, you could write in your keyword. And then you you identify the letters in the keyword, and then you write the keyword here, and well, this right here is uh, let's see, boom, there we go. 
and you write down the remaining keywords here. So for example, if the key, uh, I'll do a live example right here. If the keyword were keyword, remember that all the keywords are non-repeating letter words. So keyword, sometimes they're shorter, sometimes they're longer. So then the next step is we just go through here and I'll just, I just, I set the letter. So K E Y W O R D and then fill it in. Bam. Okay. These don't exist. Boom. Bam, bam, bam. Yep. The keyword is keyword. Okay. Sometimes it's that short. Maybe. Uh, it's a six to thir It's a six to thirteen. Oh my gosh. It's a six to thirteen letter non-repeating keyword. All right. Now we take the keyword. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just uh, slap, slap it right over here. Boom, boom, boom. And we take all the remaining letters. And we just copy and paste them right on down. So there's no errors. No errors. We're just copying and pasting in little groups. And this is my check. See, if it lines up, it's good to go. If it doesn't line up, I messed up somewhere. I'll copy this down one more layer and I'll make it all blue. So that it all looks the same and it looks confusing. So now we have the scrambled alphabet. See, this is completely scrambled because the keyword, keyword <laughs> is actually a pretty good keyword because it has a W in there. So now you see um, A becomes H, B becomes I, C becomes J, D becomes G, and so on. E becomes B, and so on. So if you had a bunch of keywords like 8, 7, 9, 9, 3, 4, 1, and 2. And let's say I had uh, golf, hotel, uh, foxtrot, alpha, uh, India, J Juliet, freaking Kilo, Lima, and whatever. Okay, I would just identify these letters. So we got G, H, F, A, I, K, L. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. All right. In fact, I would just copy this entire column over, to be honest. So it's all lined up. There's no confusion, you see? No confusion. Nothing. Not a drop in the bucket. Okay. I'll color these green. And then we have the anagram, but this isn't going to solve. You know, this isn't going to solve because this isn't a real word, you know, but then you try to solve it, you know, like, uh, uh, hello, and then that will just rearrange the letter and you get the, the rearrangement. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. See? Done. Hear my prayer. You should feel gross if you went to Nuka Crypt. So if you use Nuka Crypt, you are a loser and you should stop playing video games or just not care anymore and never brag ever again about anything that you do in life. That's all. Do you do you do you do the Boston Marathon just to say that you won? If so, you could just buy some a certificate off of somebody from eBay. You can buy a jersey and put it on your wall. Say, look, I did the Boston Marathon. You see, look, I got the credit. We didn't work for it, right? Isn't it about like not? working for things because working is evil right because some people have a advantage in life and other people can't work because so are you, are you a ableist person Cause you can't work you, you have no legs you know but you have legs therefore you're evil if you walk to the store because that guy can't walk you see that's, that's how I view Nuka Crypt and you're ruining the game in the process this game has a weekly nuke cycle as you saw, that entire code sequence was based upon the existence of the keyword. And the keyword refreshes once a week. Like Tuesday afternoon, the word goes away. And then for the entirety of Tuesday, there is no word. Maybe even Wednesday. Wednesday night, the first letter appears or something. Thursday, there's like three letters, oh no. Once every nine hours or something, another letter flips over. Sometimes the words are very long, 
and they're hard to here i'll show you something really quick sometimes these words are super long okay and uh i took a picture of them <coughs> over time like this one right here this this word was filling in letter by letter can you guess this word i know what this is it's not sunday it's like tuesday it's like tuesday or something but it's not sunday I know because by Sunday, the word is solvable. This right here is about a, a Saturday. Uh, this right here, this is about a Saturday or Friday solution level. Letters come letter by letter, starting like Tuesday-ish, late night, whatever, Wednesday, and then it fills up. And then by Monday, the word is solved. Like by Monday, the word is completely solved. It says complete, but you can solve it early if you know English. Can you guess this word? Can you guess this word? Yeah. This word is... I'll, I'll give you three seconds to guess. The word is lexicography. Interesting. Uh, 10, you're asking about... Oh, this red circle? Oh. That's a nuke zone. Uh, someone nuked. Someone nuked. Okay, that's where it is. It's a nuke zone. Lexicography. Lexicography. So, yeah, someone nuked is what I'm talking about. And they typically nuke over here. This right here... Not the best nuke drop. This is a bad nuke drop. Pretty bad. Because... All of this right here is off the map. The map kind of cuts off right here. And the main point of bombing is to get the flux. Whenever you bomb the world, the, the flora mutates. So all the diseased cranberry becomes uh, crimson flux. The mutated ferns become violet flux. And so on. You know, the rhododendrons become fluorescent. The uh, blackberries become yellow cake. These things. Corn becomes cobalt or something. You know, the mute fruit becomes cobalt. Sorry, the, uh, yeah, the uh, blood leaf. So you, you bomb different parts of the map to get the material. See that right there? Isn't See that right there? That's a nuke zone. You see? Uh... Whenever you bomb this spot in the map, it spawns a queen. Scorch Beast Queen. And a bunch of bad guys. And you go there and you farm the XP. Along with everybody else doing it for you. And you call yourself good. I feel, I, I feel really guilty whenever I'm over there because I didn't launch that bomb. The bomb itself was launched by a cheater. Typically way early. Like right now, it's, it's okay. The time is about right. But if it's like, you know, on a Wednesday... Oh, boy. You know? You could you could bomb there, but kind of shift it up a bit to the left. You could overlap the train yard and so forth. But people want to make it easy to farm the queen so you could step outside of the bomb zone. So right over here.
I'll let him run away for a second and then I'll get him. Oh, uh, Assassin uh, AA371. Why are people asking that question? Did I not label the game correctly? One second, let me just check my YouTube channel for a second. Don't mind me. Shoo do with a shoe and a do do do. This game is Fallout 76. Did I not label the video? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's labeled. Look at it. Look at the screen. Fallout 76. All right. So I'm doing another rotation. That rotation was kind of bust, but it's okay. That whole rotation took a little bit of time, okay, to be honest. Uh, those last couple spots didn't have anybody there, so I didn't write them down. I think Braxton's had... No, Braxton didn't have anybody. The model home didn't have anybody. Yeah, all these spots didn't have people. So, I can write that down. So, uh... Yeah, this time we only had five total. I'm going to... I'm going to go to a private server really quick and do a quick rotation. I'm just going to do one rotation on a private server, and then I'll come right back. This is Fallout 76, the best game in the world. Ooh, ooh. Am I a speedrunner? Am I a speedrunner? What does that even mean? <laughs> I, I wrote that on the, the title. <laughs> I said rep, rep grind speed run. Well, see, here's the thing. In the world of speed, if a person calls himself a speed runner, they're a cheater. Because they don't care. They don't care. If you look up any speed run video, they're cheating every three seconds. And the, and the speed run rules allow for all kinds of weird skipping entire... You're skipping. For example, the Doom Eternal speed run. So someone beat Doom Eternal in 27 minutes. I bet you they're skipping everything. Just because you found a way to skip something, doesn't mean you beat it. You know? No, man. It's like a person saying, I'm a speedrunner for Mario Brothers 3. I used the flute to skip to the final level. And I could beat Mario Brothers 3 in two minutes. You didn't beat Mario Brothers 3. Beating, in my opinion, is doing every single level as fast as possible. Like, Sonic the Hedgehog keeps track of your time, you know? Sonic the, Hedge Sonic the Hedgehog keeps track of your time the entire time for every level. I'm overpowered. Okay, we're doing Iteration 2 now. Iteration 2. I need to lock those cells. Here we go. We're doing it. How am I drawing the bow so fast? Well, there's a, it's like a trick with vats. That's one of the reasons why you want to use vat. Cause look, it's normally, this is how fast it fires. If this is as fast as it fires. You can do it. You can do it a little faster. Here we go. Go. Heading on up to the Toxic Valley. Here I go. So, I'm starting now. So, when I write speed run, I'm just talking about... I'm, I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. You know what I mean? I'm trying to clear these spots as fast as possible, and I'm timing my garbage. I care about the speed. I'm not looting anything. I care about clearing these bad boys. Right now. Moving on. Becker. Okay, the time is 10.39. There was nobody. Moving on. Hmm. Yeah. Area secure. 
the shooting do? Hey, there's people, and we're doing it. Now the people have come back to this area. Boom, 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 they boom, boom, boom. Up Shut up. Like foundation. Shut up. Protect Done. Trends, huh? So much for protecting. <laughs> okay. Settler done. 1040. One minute part time go. One minute part time go. One minute part time go. Assassin. And plan. All right, the humans here. Okay, I'm at the pick sides. I like this stuff because you can't use vets. This is actually a really good PvP practice because you can't uh, you can't use use vets against these guys. All right, I saved your life. Where's my stuff? Right Thanks now. Thanks for helping us take out those raiders. Yeah, baby. Yeah, right so now. Over. Goodbye. Bye. Our whole crew would have been wiped out if you didn't show up. Thank you. I'm a good person. We can grow foundation and restore this if land. We settlers stick together. It's hard work. We can grow foundation. Oh my gosh. Restore this land. Hey, your friend just said that. Okay, that was a settler instance. 1041. Okay, we're still within the one minute time window. Okay. Yeah. Is somebody there? Darn right. Yeah. Leave her alone. Finally. Nice day. Those things are a real You're pain. Good? Bye. We appreciate the help. No problem. We're taking a turn for the worst. To Goodbye. 1042. One minute part time. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Automated warning to all responders. Mr. Phone hands are out of control. Evacuate civilians and take down those supervisors. Once they're dealt with, you'll have to reboot the server. Again. Okay. Done. Get that suit player. Okay, moving on. Carry on with that one minute part time. With that one minute part time. <sighs> you know, I'm I'm just the same way. I can't wait until this game becomes VR because uh that was my big deal in Skyrim VR was using a bow and being really quick with it. Hey there. You scorched a good target practice, right? So you make some great shots. Nice yeah. work. Oh, man. thanks for the help. Hey, boy. Good thing we can't catch that disease, thanks to Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Otherwise, I'd be losing my mind. Raiders, go. 1044, part time, go. So far, so good. 1039, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Yes. Hey, Assassin, I hope you know that most of my audience is on Facebook. I'm a Facebook live streamer. If you want my map and my little spreadsheet, perhaps, come on down to Facebook or my hmm. Twitter. I know a guy. So many places to explore. Or you can talk to me. What are you doing? Looking for new places to go. Yeah? 
trying to find my way around this land. That's cool. You know, on my way here, yeah? I saw a place you may want to check out. I don't believe know you. Where it was? Yes. Show it to me right now on the map. It was right here. Take a look. You'll never know what you might find. Sure. Sure. That's more for new people. You know? You got nothing for me. Possum man? Yes, I love possum man. Good. This place has a lot of potential. You good? Thanks for your help. Awesome. We get this sip flower. Hey, uh, assassin, and everybody else that's watching right now, that blue circle that you're looking at, I want you to guess what it is. If you don't know what it is, guess. If you do know, shut your mouth. That took two minutes because I had to talk to that guy. You know what that blue circle is? Hmm? Huh? You know what that blue circle is, huh? huh? Do you know? Ah, let me close my eyes for a second as we ponder. Huh? Bye. Like you could get used to killing super mutants. Yeah. Thank you. You ain't bad at it. I'll tell you that one. If anything, you're good at it. Yeah. It's eye tracking. The blue circle's eye tracking. The Toby eye tracker 4C. Future technologies. Deep future tech. Deep. It's from the deep state future tech company. It's the Toby Eye Tracker 4C. It's an external peripheral. It shows you what I'm looking at. It shows you what I'm looking at. Oh my gosh. Look at my life. Oh no. Look at my life. AP. Life. AP. People. There's people down there. What the heck was that? Looks like it might rain later. Good. How are you doing? You're good. Thanks for the help. Bye. Those were some hungry wolves. Bye. I could see it in their eyes. Okay. 1048. This next leg is going to add a bit of time. Yeah. Yeah. This way. Bye. Uh. Eh, eh. I check over here to see if there's any NPCs up on top of the hill. Yep, NPCs. Sometimes they give you some stuff. This one over here does. You there, I see a chop on wood. What's Can up with that? Things, Tell me, not. what's up with that? Oh, never seems to end. Stop chopping wood and talk to me. Huh. We'll need some new clothes. I agree. I'm real muddy. Stop it. Now them settlers and raiders could learn a thing or two about what real work is. I'll shoot you in the foot. Those rusted pieces of scrap. Hey, buddy. Could take my job. I'll be damned if some super mutant piece like <gasps> come in here Lost and take <laughs> Whoa. I'm gonna let that guy follow me. I'm gonna let him follow me. Is my state okay? Is my my state is sixty percent? Oh my gosh! So I'm gonna squat right about now. In case you're wondering that that uh, 
That pink blur, that's Barry Mintap. Oh boy. Don't you cry no more. Yeah. TJ, you want me to play Destiny 2? I've played that before. This game's way better. You need to play Fallout 76 and shut your mouth. Okay. Uh, they're pink because of Barry Mintats. Plus five intelligence and highlights living targets for five minutes and increases thirst. Yeah. It's just about time to eat. How you doing? Those Mothman cultists give right. me creeps. Right. They're all just crazy. Right. I'm not sure what they're after. Bye. But they'll stop at nothing. Okay, Settler. You Afternoon. Shut up. 10:50. Before you stepped in. Out of my way. As, now that people have come back to this area, they all want to be setting up places. All right. Right up the hill. I will live forever. I'm very great. Now to my final reward. Right down the hill, there's some garbage. Yes. How is this better than Fallout 76? Hey, everybody in the chat can. Sorry, sorry. Uh, CJ here is asking, how is this game better than... Oh. Oh. No. I sniffed the pipe. People can help me answer that question there. CJ is asking, how is this game better than Destiny 2? Well, Destiny 2 is an open world. It's a bunch of, uh, planets. It's really just about farming a bunch of enemies. You don't loot anything. Everything is very streamlined. It's, it, it's nice. The combat's nice. It feels like, it feels like a super duper hyper futuristic Halo game. One of those things got my right shin with you know? claw. But this is more of a survival game. Yes. This game... So many different builds. There's a lot of different builds in in Destiny, but not really. You have your different classes you could play as, and they have their known things, and there's their good gear and whatever the heck it is. Your ability slots, and that's it. This it's there is no definition. You're free to kind of shift your character over time, and you have to worry about eating and drinking and radi radiation, mutations, diseases. You have to sleep. You have to play music. You know, people can hang out with you. Show up, looking very unique. You could look unique to a degree in Destiny, but it's really just about farming the enemies. You know, there's n not much, you know, you go do the thing, it's just, you pick up the quest from the guy. It's your typical, it's like you take Halo, you turn it into an MMO. But a non-open world MMO with relatively small maps, to be honest. The maps feel decent in Destiny 2 until you really think about it. Yes. Also, this game has base building. It's a big, tremendous deal. I'm using Trump words. Tremendous. It's huge. It's a big deal. All kinds of crazy workshop building. Here's the map. All kinds of stuff on it. All kinds of different workshops you can build up on. You can move your camp places and have a big old house. I'm not going to move it right now because I have water. Otherwise, I'll lose my water. Yeah, the eating and surviving feature is a big deal. I mean, you have to... Well, if you don't eat food, you starve, and then your, your maximum energy drops down. And a lot of food has buffs, and you have to cook your food all the time. So you have to cook your food with a bunch of different recipes. Pretty cool. Your weapons break. Oh, boy. Ah! Oh. Your weapons br... Uh, great. Have you ever played Rust? Yeah, Rust is some garbage by a bunch of people that can't work for a real company. That's what I think. I don't like indie games. They're, they're trash. That's what I think. 
Rust is very similar in essence to this game, but Rust is a piece of garbage. Okay, just think about Rust and make it into an actual game. Make it into an actual game. See, Rust is just pure survival with no game. This is a survival game. I'm going to skip that spot and move on with my life. Bam, bam, boom. I'm sidetracked. Okay. Uh, that was Raiders, right? Was that Raiders over there at the thing? I, I was talking to... I think it was Raiders. Yeah. Uh-huh. That, that took five minutes between East Garahan and now. Game is tight. Just watch for a bit. Right now I'm doing sort of like a fast travel of things is not the best example. But that's what I'm doing in the stream. I know it's not the best concept uh, for people that are brand new to this world. But this is what the end game is about to a degree, in my opinion. Uh, after you're done with all the storyline content, done. And all the narrative elements or the larger elements... It reaches a point with this new update where you have to grind reputation, which is a brand new thing with Wastelanders. I know that reputation is already a thing with Destiny, so, you know, it's already a thing with Destiny. I'm going to stop on my camp for a second. But here is a brand new thing. So it gives you this other element of, of garbage to do around the map. It's other elements. The, the crafting system and all that farming system in Destiny is so streamlined to the point where it's sort of stale. There's no heart to it. It's just, it's like crystalline, futuristic, and pure with holo holograms and, you know, shining loot things that drop from the end. It might as well be Diablo to a certain degree. You go to a spot, you go around, you do your event. It's, it is similar, but it would be better if Destiny was open world. You know? For example, how come you can't fly from Venus to... You know, you can't fly from one... You can't get in your spaceship and go into space and then land again across the planet like any other game that is modern. Instead, it's a bunch of loading screens. You should still be able to fast travel, but it'll make it into your map. The... The Narrows. Welcome to the Narrows. This this district we're adding to the game is the 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 people of this town. They were a fishing village. Check out the architecture. Ooh, but nothing's interactable. Nothing's interactable. Maybe that glowing box behind the corner, but here everything's interactable. So if you enjoy looting and upkeep and base building, well, this is my camp. You see, I got all this garbage around. I have these water purifiers. I mean, Destiny is great. Like, I really, I really love Halo. I was a big Halo fan. Um, I was more of an Xbox person. Well, see, I was that. I was a Sega person more than Nintendo. So I was an Xbox more than PlayStation kind of guy. You know what I mean? And uh, I like Halo a lot. I like all that garbage. And that's what Destiny is. And that's great. With this game here, it almost feels like a Tom Clancy game at times. It's a very technical experience. It's a technical thing. Whereas Destiny is more like a first-person shooter experience. Like a... Uh, it's a multiplayer first-person shooter streamlined with the story being told in a interesting way but it feels very much like you're on a map this feels like I'm walking around different parts of this crazy world but right now I'm teleporting to different spots where I know there's random instances of people that might show up like right here and I'm hoping that they're the kind I want to kill but right now they're not yeah yeah, I like all that Halo garbage. 
Uh, yep. And I like Doom. You know? I was kind of hoping that Doom would be open world, but it's not. But I don't know how that would translate into a game like this. See, this I, I like games look I like I like it because this game there's many many different kinds of weapons. From a bunch of melee garbage, you know, like something like this is in this game. Or a dagger or any sort of melee weapon that you could imagine. And then you have any sort of gun that you can, from cannons that you're holding to a Gatling gun to a little pistol to a cork gun shooter of nothingness. Even comical weapons to a degree. It has a million different... I'm using a bow right now, but I also have, you know... I don't want to shoot it. It'll wake them up. Here. I'll wake them up. Well, these are people. I don't want to wake them up. Yeah, I have all, kind, you know, all kinds of energy weapons, rifles of all kinds. It's really cool. And you can craft all your stuff. You can craft in... Destiny, but it's a, it's a weird thing. You get these plans, you get the emblems of the flim plan. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh gosh, dang it! Well, well, they're all dead. I'm saying no because I took off all my melee, and, and normally I have to kill that guy with melee, and pretty sure he killed everybody, so I'm just gonna skip that spot. Pretty sure that guy killed everybody there. Yep. Good old Salt Trans gonna wreck everyone in the house. Normally, uh, she's a bit too strong for my little bow, so I have to swap over to melee to get him, but I can't in my current situation. Necessarily, especially since I died. I would have to do some clever stuff, and uh, can't do that one. See, that's my explosive bow. See all this different uh, ecosystems and everything. You can just run all the way down, and there is, there is content all the way down through this world, but not for my purpose right now. Right now, I'm doing the boom, 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 speed run, diddly do, to a degree, even though we're getting sidetracked. You know, going for that rep. Do something really quick. Let me get over here really quick and then uh we'll reposition. These guys have pretty nasty poison, so I had to kind of pull back into the shadows, you know, to fight them. Normally, I'll just punch them, but I can't do that right now. There we go. Okay, there's nobody here. Let's keep on going down. So this is my second run. The first run took a second because I was doing things, but... Uh, Second run here. I want to do this, you know, 
oh, 10 times at least per day, maybe. Uh, five times per stream at least. Go. I'll kill these Mothman guys real quick because that's what I do. There's a, there's a, a legendary over here usually. Ooh boy. But this is way better than my former farming routes. Yeah. Uh, head on down to the sundew grove of the Creekside Variety. Creekside Variety. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Hmm. Who's here? Here. I'm stealthy. All right, moving on through. We call this diverse environments, huh? Diverse environments of the flim flam. Yeah. Moving on down. To the overgrown, yo. Oh. Yep, taking a bit, a bit of time. Mm-hmm. 1107. But we already had nine groups during this session, so there's that. We had a bunch of settlers during the first portion. See, this is on a private shirt server. This is just showing you the the natural ratio of what to expect of these areas. Well, technically we had 10, but I, I failed that one with that Assaultron. Okay, and one more. Is the final one coming up? Oh, uh, oh, I missed, I missed one of them. I missed the uh, South Robco uh, spot. I'll go there right after this. And that'll be the last. Last spot in the rotation. And then I'll go back to a public server. You know, because I want to make some money over time. The final spot over here. It's not that bad. I started at 1040, right? And right now it's 1102. So it's really not that bad. It seemed like that whole thing took a long time. And that I was kind of dilly-dallying at a couple portions and talking about some stuff. But in reality, that all that stuff, even the time I kind of wasted, that was 20 minutes or something. Not that bad for the entire rotation. And hitting up, let's say, or having just about half, just about half of the spots have settlers or raiders. Sometimes it seems like there's nothing there if you only check a few spots and you're not lucky. But it's just random. 
I think. I think I have the clo uh, the cold attack. Oh, I killed that rat stack. All right. Yeah. Alright, and now we're done. I'll write the time down, 11-11. Boom. It took about half an hour, and there were nine groups. The time before that took about an hour, and there was five groups, because I was messing around. Alright, let's go down to a public server. Yeah. It's so exciting. Moving from private to public is basically a server hop right now. That was the base I had all those trees at. All them funky trees. All right, here we are. Let's go clear this spot again. They're deadly. I have to take care of them quickly. See, normally I, I would figure that I can't fire that quickly, you know? But with the Grim Reaper Sprint, I can. I could. Well, let's go north. I don't think there's anybody here because uh, there's a tent. There's someone's camp. We'll try. All right. I'm going to clear through uh, the areas here in the Cranberry Bog and then go back to my camp. Just uh, this overgrown spot, the NAR train repair yard, and the Creekside Sunday Grove. At least there's a real reason to come here now before I'll picking up some produce. Hit up the creek side. I'm not counting this one because by the time I prep uh, for the next rotation, it'll reset. I will be inserting my dailies and all that into this mix along with the gold uh, pickup, drop off, all that nonsense. Try and hide from this! 
it really is a massive amount of XP that I'm getting during these rotations. I'll tell you what, the year one stuff, my farming run, really was sort of boring. Because it, it was Harper's Ferry, the Burrows, National Acid Radio, Radio Array, uh, West Tech. Uh, not so much boring, but monotonous to the point where I'll purposely have to break it up with some other activity. Sex galore. Cool. Stop by the NAR. Repair yard. Yeah, the simplicity of year one. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was an open template. Well, I liked it because it gave you time to really uh, figure out the world and, you know, there's no. N nothing else bothering you from just learning the areas and looting and things. by Blake's offering for a second. Okay. People... I know a guy who could fix that. Yeah. Another day, another problem. Mm -hmm. And misty, foggy crap suckers. Mm -hmm. Another day, another problem, and today it's these blood suckers. Well, they're not done yet. I see you. Have to jump up and down. To get to get a line of sight. What? You good? Damn blood suckers! I hope nobody gets lost. Darn right, limes, lemons, lion, Liam's. What's the best melee weapon? Well, the grognak. Axe seems to do more damage than other melee weapons, but doesn't have any mods. There's many factors here. Uh, the best fist weapon was the the uh, meat hook because it was broken. It was counting as a one-handed weapon and a fist weapon. But everything's good in its own way. Everything's balanced. Everything's balanced. Ain't no best. If you think about best and worst, you don't belong here. Everything's balanced and equal in their own little way. Some things are better. But they make up for that better by not having other features. Too slow or no mods or something. Finally. Let's go by foundation. I did my two rotations here. Now it's time to uh, turn in these treasury notes for gold. The next Monday, 
We'll get the gold from the wayward. Doop with a doop and a shoop and doop doop. You know. Also, Drew, certain weapons are good because, uh, for example, fist weapons are good because you could have both the talons and twisted muscles mutation on, and they both stack. That's good. Good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, lo and behold, people. Lo and behold, people. I'm buying the water well. I, look, people, I'm the one that buys this garbage. So you don't have to. Oh, just in case you didn't know, you could buy the stealth armor and helmet from the the settlers uh, once you're at a certain reputation without having to go through the storyline to go, go get it from the whatever. Apparently. So I'm going to be buying the water well, so you don't have to. I'm... I'm taking the plunge. Wasting my money. <laughs> I waste my gold to... Look, without me, you'd be wasting your gold trying to figure some stuff out. I bought the flare, the gauntlet, the gauntlet shock pads. Next up, I'll buy that dirt tile. Whoopsie. Oh, no. Those Mothman cultists give me the creeps. They're all just crazy. Okay, let's go back to my camp. I have to get 10 more treasury notes for the day. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. Uh, 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 under my... So it's either going to give me, it's either going to give me a big old bucket of dirty water as opposed to just collecting a bunch of dirty water individually, or it'll give me purified water without having to use power. See? Normally you have to use all this power. Boom, boom, boom. I'm getting a lot of water for it. Well, it has to go on dirt first of all, obviously. How deep can it go? How deep is your flim? drink from it with dirty water Shake these nightmares. Holding in space forever. Just.
this camp grows under the sun of come get this up Break it? I can no longer collect. Well, okay. Is a greeny, masked, that hides, <laughs> I spend my gold so you don't have to. Maybe they'll appreciate the sound effects and the chain. No, you're buying it for the aesthetics. No, no, no. No, you're buying it for the... Yeah, it's dramatically slower than collecting water. Yeah, 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 it's not purified. No, 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 it's dirty water. Yeah, one each. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, who cares about, what, five radiation? Yeah, there you go, it's radiation free. Maybe it's, well, it's dirty water, it's dirty water. One second. I think it's broken. I think it's broken because I, it wouldn't let me collect any more water. I was trying to collect. I think it was broken. I think it was broken because look. So let's say. Well, I have to move my camp again because. Let's move my camp. I move my camp right over here. It's going to have a purpose. That's why I got it. People, it costs 750 There's going to be more. To, I, look, I, I think it's broken because after I. That's why I left the game, because I tried... I'm trying to demonstrate before we find out with our words, okay? Because I tried collecting water from the water afterwards, it wouldn't let me, so... It... Bugged out. Let's find out. I figured you'd either get a big old bucket of water... I can't multitask. I can't click on more than one. I thought I can go click, 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 click. It's terrible. You click on it and there's a big old delay and it goes one dirty water. One dirty water. It's a big gigantic delay. It's slower. Maybe the creatures are... Hey, at least you have a well. I'm so thirsty right now. Mm -mm. I need to get thirsty. I need to use a bunch of drugs to get myself thirsty. Uh-uh. Uh, here we go. Aha. Uh -huh. 
So normally, if I walked over here, get thirsty, baby. If I walked over here, yeah, I know that the enemies will be attracted to it, but that can't be the only reason why. That's stupid. We heard you guys like to use water pumps to attract the enemy, but here's a water well. Ha! It'll, it'll attract all the enemies because the enemies want water too. You see? It makes sense. It's lore. You get it? It makes sense. The enemies want the stuff. You got the stuff. Mm-hmm. Where's my water? Okay, so. If I go over here to go drinky poo, right? Boom. Maybe, hey, hey, maybe, hey, maybe it, see, uh, I'm, I'm testing something. So right now, I'm, I'm really thirsty, right? I have a half a bar. Maybe it fills up your hydration meter if you drink from it directly. Because here, if I drink from the water, it only fills it up as if I were drinking one water. I'm going to test it out right now. Uh, but if I go to collect a bunch, I can collect as much as I want. Ooh! Be cool if it said this is what this does. The ra look, who cares about rad free way to collect water? I don't give no two. It costs seven fifty, and it's locked behind the second tier of the darn thing. And at that point, who cares about having five rads per water collection? Who gives a darn garbage nothing? Now I'm gonna drink from this directly. And It's not, why is it dirty water? It's a well. It's a well. Why is it dirty water? Where's my artisan spring water? Away from the radiation in the bowels of the earth. I would have been satisfied. Look, I, I would have been satisfied if it was really, really slow and give me one purified water every so often. Just one. But no, it's a big old gigantic bucket with a stupid chain. It's all heavy. Ooh yeah, get that water! Bloop. Don't get your finger caught in there. Oh no, my finger! Oh, I, I can't wait to make all this razor grain flour. You know. I just have to collect 300 water really quick. Let me just collect 25 water so I can make my food. Oh, yes. Look, I know it's going to attract the enemy. It costs the same. You can do all kinds of garbage with these things, but you know, that's stupid. What does the internet have to say about this garbage? This is a crime. It's a crime. Crime. 
Why would you want it? Why would you want it? What's wrong with you people? What? This person's up. How do we get the water well plan? I'm looking for water. Hey. My camp is isolated from water, and as such, I can't have access to wa a water source unless I have a pump or something. As the water well looks really cool. I mean, it took me it took me a second to figure out what what if I put a flare down there? What, what if it spawns a scorch beast? That's it. If you bomb a water well, you spawn a you spawn a scorch beast because it's tapping in to the aquifer. I solved it, baby. Yes. If you bomb if you bomb a water well, it's gonna spawn fifteen Svendingle colossuses crawling out of the mine. You know, there's a well. Look, there's evil cave-like, ho there's horrors of the deep in there, man. Evil things are in that cave, and yeah, that's what it's all about. The sink is probably better. Does the sink work faster? You know what I think this is? I think this is the game punishing us. And I'm being serious right now. I think this is the game punishing us. I'm being serious. And educating us. Now, I want you to be, understand right now. Please, please understand. Please be careful and listen to my words right now. This is not spammable. Listen carefully right now. Please. Please. It's not spammable. That's clause one. There's an animation cycle. Clause two. It feels like it's going pretty slow, huh? Clause three. It's not going extra slow. There's no, listen to me, this is a very important. There's no way that game developers would make this slower than the minimum time it is required to obtain dirty water. There's no way they make it slower unless they want to get the animation. We really got to get this animation out there, buddy. So what I think this is really about is this is how fast you're supposed to get the water. Everything else hurts their server. You know when you spam stuff? It tends to crash the game. For example, in the past, I can never use Halloween candy. Okay? Because it would it would crash me if I spam the garbage. And we're doomed. You know? I would normally... Oh, look, Oh, almost died. Right? But I don't think you're supposed to do it that fast. For example, for example, follow. F are you following me, camera guy? Listen to me carefully. If you didn't have a super mouse of awesomeness, like all you console plebs, then you can't just spam something. Now you can spam H. Maybe. How fast can you spam it? I don't know. But normally to use a Rataway or a Toxic Goo, you have to... Yes. You have to open up your favorite bar and then click on the thing. 
And that is as fast as it can go. You know? And whenever I would use my mouse, sometimes it'll crash. And I don't think that... In fact, they've been slowing things down. They've been slowing certain things down. So the fact... So in my opinion... It's not so much that there's... The fact that they have this thing worth a lot of gold... Is that they really want you to know... Stop getting your water so fast. Stop it. You're walking along, getting the water, water, water. Holding the R button. Or whatever the heck you're doing. It's not good. And... And they're punishing us by making us spend money just to learn a lesson. And in reality, I was getting to, Who's to say I was in the right for collecting a mountain of dirty water by spamming it as I'm walking down the shoreline? Maybe that's not very immersive. As I'm walking with my rifle out down the shoreline, tapping R every three seconds and getting water or every one second arr, arr, and water is just filling up my bar all of a sudden I have 300 water you know I sure am thirsty Is it any faster than a water pump? Okay, I'm gonna put down a water pump and see if it's any faster. If it's the same speed as, look, if it's the same speed as a water pump, it's the same speed as a water pump. Slower! 